Dennis Preacher, the prophet, the sidekick, coming back at you again with another video. Okay, people, we got Sloan Stevens versus Ostapenko. That's a really good Miami Open Finals. Who wins? What's the dynamics of all of that? Okay, let me get with Sloan Stevens. Okay, Sloan Stevens, U.S. Open champion, uh, 2017. Then she fell off the cliff, got her game back though. Looking in top form, good form. Took out Azarenka. Uh, that's good. You know, that's good. She got a game back because you don't want to be. You don't want to be one of those kind of players that just, uh, you know, you win a major and then you all of a sudden, you know, just fall off the cliff forever and you never really heard of again. Of course, we know that ain't Sloan Stevens, but that's good. She got a game back. So, um, and uh, let's see if she can build on a major. I mean, of course, she's a she's definitely a candidate to win them. I mean, to start winning majors again now. And um so now she's taking on Ostapenko, who's probably playing uh, the best tennis on the tour probably right now, today. Um, let me see some of Ostapenko. Um, Ostapenko, she's one of those that I anointed to win like four to six majors. I mean, Mungarusa was one that I anointed, but I think I did a video about six months ago saying, who would I choose between those two? to win more majors. And I think I chose Ostapenko. Y'all can go back and check on the video. I guess just type in uh, how many majors will Ostapenko win and put tennis profit. It should come up on YouTube. But uh, I like Ostapenko. She plays with a fire. I, even though Muguruza is got two majors, Ostapenko only got one. I think Ostapenko is probably, I would say she's a little more dependable than Muguruza. If I had to choose, like like who's probably who would I put my money on? I mean, I don't think she's that much more dependable, but I think I would go with Ostapenko. She plays with even more fire than a Muguruza plays with, and uh, and Ostapenko plays with this intensity that I like. So I definitely would bet money that Ostapenko is going to win four to six majors. Now let's get back to the match tomorrow. Who wins tomorrow? Uh, man, that's a toss up. It's a toss up. Y'all know how that women stuff can go, man. That women stuff. That's why I don't try to predict that women stuff too much. But if I had to bet my money, man, it's a toss. I should throw up a coin. I should throw a coin up right now and then look down to the ground. Let, let uh, uh, Sloan Stevens be tails. Let Ostapenko be heads and throw up the coin and let the coin do it. It's a toss up. But no, I'm going to go. Let me see. Can the tennis prophet call this? You know, if I had to go, man, if I just had to call this, I'm probably going to get the edge to Ostapenko. Probably. I mean, Sloan Stevens could be there. But I, if I had to bet the money, man, and they say you got to bet on one of them, I'd probably go with Ostapenko to win the Miami Open. But like I said, Sloan Stevens could get it. But I'm going to go with Ostapenko to win this. I'm going to give the edge to her. Okay, people, great match. Uh, both of these girls could win uh, a major or two this year, or a major for sure. Definitely Ostapenko. I can definitely see it. Sloan Stevens, too. She could do it. Uh, but I definitely see Ostapenko uh, being leader of the pack, even. You know, and... Uh, she could, she could actually be, the, if I had to choose, Magic Man, who you think going to just start racking up majors? I may go with Ostapenko, man, even though over Muguruza. Okay, people, um, Tennis Preacher, Tennis Prophet, Tennis Psychic, signing off.